Good morning, folks. My name is Kanjan Mehra, and I represent Grow Greenhouses, which is a collaborative venture between uh, World Hope International and the Humanitarian Engineering and Social Entrepreneurship Program at Penn State. So commercial greenhouses, like the one you see in this picture, sell for upwards of $3,000 in East Africa. And by the time they get to West Africa or parts of Southern Africa, they cost upwards of $6,000. So they're absolutely unaffordable to the vast majority of the smallholder small farmers or agro-enterprises. Our innovation is an affordable greenhouse. We sell it with a comfortable profit margin for under $1,000. It enables year-round growth. It protects plants from pests. It protects plants from extreme weather events, which are becoming more pronounced with climate change. It does all of this while having 60% reduction in water usage. There are places where we've seen the water use come down by 90%. What makes our product work is a simplicity. It's a highly modular, it's a highly modular system. It, um, all the materials are sourced locally except for the glazing, which needs to be imported. The construction process happens over a two-day span. I like to think of it as a formula one tire change. It happens like boom, 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 one thing after another. Day one, we start with a plot of land which looks like that. At the end of the first day, we have the structure up and running. And the end of the second day, we have the greenhouse completed. And we conduct a two-hour training session with the farmers, helping them transition from open-air farming to greenhouse farming. So there are three ways in which farmers use our product. There are farmers who use it to go from seed to harvest. They experience yields which are at least 30% more. More importantly, instead of getting only one or two crop cycles, they have three, four, or even five crop cycles over a single year. The second way to use it is uh, by growing seedlings and then transplanting these seedlings inside and outside the greenhouse. This is a game changer because when you have seedlings germinating open air, the germination rate is about 25 to 30%. Inside the greenhouse, it's about 95%. And hence, we have an increasing number of farmers who have realized that they can sell these seedlings to, to farmers who are not able to grow outside or farmers who are not farmers. That's just common people. So there are three ways in which these greenhouses are used. We have two ways of getting them to farmers. The first is an asset sale model where we build, build uh, greenhouses for our customers and we take away their money. The other approach, which is really important in rural areas, is to de-risk the farmers, and we work with women's groups, and we build greenhouses for them, and they pay us back over a 12 to 18 month timestamp. Right now, over 90% of the women's groups that we are working with, about 25 of them, are on track with their payments. So what does this mean for farmers? What's the end impact? Well, it's not about the greenhouses. Ultimately, it's about the farmers. And so the increase in profits depend on the nature of the farmer, on the experiences they have. So we are, we are seeing that with small farmers, their, their yields increase by about threefold. For women's associations, it's typically fivefold. And for commercial farmers, it's a 10-time increase in their turnover. We have some amazing success stories in Mozambique, where one of our farmers is going to have about 500 tons of produce more with two greenhouses, for which he paid a total of about $1,600. And he's going to make tens of thousands of dollars more, and he's paying his employees a 25% bonus with the proceeds that he is getting from these greenhouses. So we have piloted these in Kenya, where we have a company called Maguno Greenhouses, in Cameroon with a partner called Greenhouse Ventures. Uh, with SWIFT funding, we are piloting these in Mozambique and Sierra Leone. Well, actually, we are beyond the pilot stage now. Uh, and we just got a grant from the State Department to jumpstart greenhouses in Cambodia. So in every single country, we've, spent, we've invested a lot of time and energy to find local partners and build local ecosystems. These include partners that provide agronomic support, logistical support, capacity building, construction and maintenance of greenhouses, and most importantly, access to capital and access to market linkages. While the, the development of this ecosystem can take months or even years, it takes only a few weeks to get started. And that's because we've looked at all our operations and, looked and, and designed an entire ensemble of resources to get going. This includes construction manuals, quality control protocols, startup guides to get our farmers up and running quickly, agronomic case management systems, 
water savings protocols, because that's also a behavioral change that goes along with the technology. And finally, very lean, scalable data management systems to ensure that we are always collecting data and taking a data and evidence-driven approach with all our operations, especially as we start to grow in, in several countries. So we are now looking for implementation partners to intelligently translate this technology to other countries and build local ecosystems to help farmers. Thank you. Thank you.